What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Uh, today on the table in front of us we have a CRKT and it is one that I was actually really excited about getting my hands on and then I got my hands on it and we'll talk about that. Uh, this is the CRKT Incendiary. This is a Robert Carter design. It is 8CR13 MOV. It is G10 and steel. It is a liner lock. Um, I really like the look of this knife, and I have since the first time I saw it. It is a thumb disc deployed, it is hollow ground, it has a very interesting and complex grind on that 8CR13 MOV blade. Uh, and and then, uh, well, okay, look. So I, I don't mind 8CR13 MOV. I think it's a really good everyday user steel. And I don't mind steel liner locks. I think they have an absolute place uh, in the knife industry and for your average user. And I love G10, but this thing is awkward and a little uncomfortable. And when I got it from the Apex Passaround group, for which I am grateful, thanks guys over there at the Apex, there was rust on the pocket clip. And that's kind of a bummer. Um, if this knife was 10% bigger, uh, I'd forgive a lot of kind of what's going on here, but it isn't. It is a very small knife, particularly for me, as you can see, uh, if I grip it in the appropriate handle area, my pinky falls off the end. I have to move forward onto what is not a choil, but is a flat spot, which is fine. But then it puts me awfully close to this big smile back here, this flare where they didn't do the plunge very well. Look, there are lots of companies making budget knives that are really very good right now. CJRB is one. Uh, there are many others. CK, uh, CRKT, Columbia River Knife and Tool, has I've been a fan for years. And then they do stuff like this, and it really bums me out. Now, to be fair, this is $21.99 right now on Blade HQ. This is an absolute budget knife. But budget doesn't have to mean cheap. I mean, at least not in the manufacturing. It can mean inexpensive, and a little effort can go into them. Uh... This thing, uh, it's always disappointing when a knife that you were very excited about uh, simply doesn't do for you what you wanted it to. And this is that knife, uh, absolutely. It's got a choil here that looks like it's designed to be a finger choil, but it is far too small. Uh, but, you know, like I said, I have to hold it up here a little bit to make the knife fit in my hand. Um, it's disappointing. And that's a shame, because it doesn't have to be. Uh, the blade itself, and I want to really focus on this for a second, is gorgeous. I love the complex grind here. But you guys know that I love a good compound grind. This has one. I just feel like that's where they decided to stop, and that's a bummer. It does say Carter Design. Uh, it has the serial number here. It says CRKT on this side. This is one of their Ruger knives. Now, they make good knives under the Ruger name. Uh, by way of example, this is the Windage. And I actually have one of these. This is uh, not mine. This one belongs to Women Carry Knives. This is a fantastic knife under the Ruger name. This is the Ruger Windage, and this also is 8CR13 MOV. Uh, this one happens to be running on bearings. This is a good knife. <laughs> So it isn't a CRKT problem. It isn't that knives under the Ruger name are no good. That's not what's going on here. Uh, they make a lot of really good knives under the Ruger name, and CRKT makes some wonderful knives. This just isn't one of them. So we're going to do this really short, because I don't do negative reviews, and although this is. Um, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. Let's do some size comparisons, just so you guys know what you're spending your hard-earned dollars on. Uh, I have to pause the video for just a second. And we're back because I couldn't find my little measuring tools. Well, first, the first we're going to put it up against the bug out. Now, the bug out is a small knife. But as you can see, it is considerably larger, at least in length, than the incendiary. Uh, and that, of course, is the problem that I'm having. It is much, much smaller than I thought it was. Um, yeah, it's tiny. Let's go ahead and put it up against the Rat Model 1, just because that's what we do. And as you can see, if we line the blades up, 
I mean, come on now. This is a small knife. Well, how small? Well, if we line it up here on the blade, you get one, two, and three quarters inches of cutting on three inches of HCR 13 MOV. The actual grip area, if we start where it's supposed to be, is one, two, well, excuse me, one, two, three and a quarter. Um, it's just a tiny knife. It is, and it didn't look like one, and it doesn't, I don't know. Yeah, the measurements are out there, I could have known. Is it a bad knife? Well, no, if you've got small hands. I imagine that if, oh, well, there we go. Women carry knives can let you know. What do you think? I think it's a great size for me, but I right. have small hands. Right. So if you've got tiny hands, this is not a bad knife. If you've got my size hands, this is not the knife for you. And again, they let you down in a couple of ways that are really a bummer. Like, you can do a good plunge grind on budget knives. There's no reason for stuff like this big old smile down here. Let's go ahead and weigh it, just so we know. Now remember, it is a steel frame liner lock. So I expect it to be a little heavy. It is 4.8 ounces on two and three quarter inches of blade. That is a heavy, small knife. That's a little bit of a bummer. I am not gonna do the blade stock on this because with this hollow grind, it really doesn't make a difference. They have, they have thinned it out very nicely. Um, it has a nice clip. As you can see right there, it has a good deep carry pocket clip uh, that is a little weirdly placed. Like I feel like they could have made the pocket clip part of this last screw and really moved it all the way up to the end of the knife to make it a true deep carry. Uh, we'll just call that a missed opportunity. I do like the, uh, the thumb disc deployment, although it's very stiff. There we go. Um, it is running on washers, so you're not really asking a lot of it. Look, in the end, here's what it comes down to. For $21.99, it's not a bad knife. But for an extra 10 bucks, you can get yourself into a really good budget knife, and I would recommend that over this. And that's actually where I'm going to end this. Um, CRKT makes good knives. They do. Again, uh, the windage here is an example of that. But they don't always. Sometimes they cut corners in places they shouldn't. And that's this. And that's a shame, because if this knife was 10% bigger and 10% more effort and energy put into it, this would have been a real showstopper. Because the design is excellent. You can see what Carter was doing. It makes a ton of sense. It just didn't come out that way from CRKT. Anyway, folks, that's the end. I do not enjoy doing negative reviews. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. I will get back to doing Knives That I Love next. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I'd love to have you here on a regular basis. Don't forget to like the video on your way out, and uh, we'll see you next time. Say goodnight, Women Carry Knives. Good night, Women Carry Knives. <laughs> Bye, folks.